Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite YouTuber who spends 15 minutes fanboying over a phone to say nothing actually useful, Gardner, the Linux gamer. This video would not be possible if it weren't for the support of my 133 amazing patrons over on Patreon, without whom I would not be able to do this. This is my full-time job now, and my patrons make this possible. Uh, thank you to my patrons, including the support of Nima Panahi. Nima, my dude, your support is truly appreciated. So I was working on a different video and I saw this news and I decided that I was going to stop what I was doing and make this one. Uh, but I don't have enough time to actually uh, do this the right way. So we're going to do this the wrong way. And that's why you get me in this little picture in picture thing going on. This video is about Ubuntu Pro. Uh, Ubuntu Pro. Now, Ubuntu Pro, if you don't know, is actually uh, this new thing that Canonical is doing with uh, Ubuntu for servers. So Canonical has announced a, a pro version of Ubuntu. And the pro version of Ubuntu is now available for sale through Amazon Web Services. You can now get Ubuntu Pro on uh, Amazon EC2. Uh, this is interesting. I'm very, <laughs> I'm, I'm anxious to hear what you guys think about this. So essentially the way this works is uh, Canonical sells you uh, the, the pro version of Ubuntu uh, and you get extended coverage uh, extended security updates and compliance features and blah 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 for uh, Ubuntu Server 14.04, 16.04, or 18.04. So right now these images are available on Amazon Web Services. Uh, you can subscribe here. And it costs about uh, uh, 22 or 23 cents an hour. That seems pretty expensive to me. Uh, but if we look here, basically what they're what they're guaranteeing is that all critical high and medium CVEs in the top 1,000 packages on AWS instances will be addressed. And that's for Ubuntu 14.04, 16.04, and 18.04. So the last three LTSs. This is guaranteed for 10 years. That's crazy. So, so Ubuntu Pro 1404 is, I think, only guaranteed for eight years, uh, but 1604 is guaranteed for 10 years. Um, you're, it also comes with kernel live patching so that you can upgrade uh, or address kernel vulnerabilities while the system is still running. Uh, bananas, dude. This is bananas. So what's very interesting about this is that uh, Ubuntu Advantage has been around for a while, and uh, these security patches uh, will be automatically applied to any Ubuntu Pro subscription on Amazon Marketplace. Now, I have a couple of thoughts and questions here. Now, the thing that really worries me, though, is the fact that uh, Ubuntu is really shacking up with Amazon. Now, the thing that really worries me here is Ubuntu like shacking up with Amazon, right? Well, I mean, like available from quarter one, 2020. Integration with AWS security and compliance features, including AWS Security Hub, AWS Cloud Trail, and more. Okay, um, the first question is, will this be available to anyone not running on Amazon services? Uh, I'm going to guess that the answer is no, uh, at least for the time being. Seeing as this is like handled by Canonical through Amazon, I, I just, I, I'm wondering how this is going to work. I mean, the question is, I run a Linode server. I actually, I, I run several Linode servers. I am a huge fan of Linode. Full disclosure, they have uh, sponsored this channel in the past. But it, let's say that I wanted to get in on Ubuntu Pro here. Would I be able to on Linode? I don't know the answer to that question. I would love to see something like that available. The, so the question for me is, What's actually going on here? See, the, the thing is, we have known for a while that uh, Ubuntu or Canonical is looking to be purchased. Uh, that's at least the, the, the word on the street. Um, so the idea that uh, they're making this uh, move to integrate uh, Ubuntu server more tightly with AWS, are they courting um, Amazon for purchase. I mean, it's been flying around for a while that Microsoft might buy Ubuntu, but what happens if Amazon buys Ubuntu? What does that mean for the desktop Ubuntu? What does that mean for Ubuntu derivatives? 
That's an interesting question. I would love to know what you guys think about this. The new Ubuntu Pro images will deliver a further optimized experience to our customers, providing additional security and performance to their Ubuntu instances, said Deepak Singh, VP of Compute Services at AWS. Of available directly through AWS Marketplace, Ubuntu Pro can be purchased, deployed, and launched on AWS in a seamless and effortless manager manner manner, removing the need for additional provisioning or procurement processes. Uh, yes, this, so th 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 this is pretty uh, crazy. This is just nuts. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Do you think that uh, Canonical is courting Amazon for a buyout uh, with this move? I mean, this seems kind of like a weird thing, but also maybe not. Maybe this is just trying to solve a pain point for uh, AWS deployment. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, I am seriously excited to hear uh, your guys' thoughts on this. But uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon. You can pick up a t-shirt. Uh, there's a link down in the description. Um, you can head over to lbry.tv slash at the Linux Gamer and subscribe to my channel over there. Uh, or you can hit subscribe down below here on YouTube. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, thanks for watching.